What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Ben Thomas Show. Thanks for coming back. It's Thanksgiving weekend for you folks in the United States, but here I'm sitting here wondering what Hot Toys might give me in thanks. And they gave us John Wick for the figure has been released, but I've got some thoughts on what it looks like. I want to compare it to the prototype a little bit and some shots of John Wick. I don't hate it, but I'm not sure I love it. So stick around. If you like the video, hit the like button, smash the subscribe if you're new to The Ben Thomas Show, and let's get into it. Oh, pardon me. But it's a Ben Thomas Showtime. Let's go. Okay, everybody, welcome back. So John Wick is here finally, and again, a nice Thanksgiving treat for everybody, I think, for the most part. I know a lot of us have been kind of like, what's coming next? But damn, is my wallet a little overwhelmed. And this was announced about a year ago now. I loved the film John Wick 4. I'd still say that one and two are my favorite. I think once it got into three and especially into four, it lost a little bit of the realism for me, which I know is ridiculous to say because it's John Wick and he's meant to dodge bullets. He's the Baba Yaga, but at the same time, <laughs> I feel like they should have shot him a few more times in this one in particular, especially on that staircase scene, but we won't get into the spoilers for the film. The figure is here, and this is something that I think a lot of us collectors have wanted for a pretty long time. I'm a pretty seasoned collector. I've been doing this now for 10 to 14 years. I missed on the John Wick 2 version that had come out, and I've got a Matrix Neo figure in the collection, so I feel like I've got a representation of Keanu, but we'd also seen the Matrix Resurrected figure, and that was met with some criticism. That one had come with glasses that looked just a little bit weird on him, like kind of fat and grandma-esque. And I thought the likeness to Keanu looked well, pretty good. To be honest, he almost could have been made into a John Wick figure if he wanted to. They also had the Johnny figure from Cyberpunk, which I actually at this point had thought was one of the better sculpts that Hot Toys had ever given us, especially if you can't especially for Keanu Reeves. I feel like he's got kind of one of those faces for some reason that's hard to capture in likeness. And when the prototype for this version came out that you can see here on the screen, I thought it looked pretty damn good. I thought the hair looked a little bit light in the prototype for sure. And the open mouth is sometimes a bit of a courageous thing for Hot Toys to do, I feel like. They can either nail it or you can look like an Ant-Man sculpt. And we all know the haunting nightmare of that sculpt. So I think going with the more stoic, face is sometimes a safer bet, but not always the more exciting bet, especially for a figure that's meant to be in a level of combat. And that is John Wick in a nutshell. Let's be honest, he's one of the most combative characters I think I've ever seen in film. And he looks pretty freaking cool doing it, I gotta say. We also got the Donnie Yang figure not that long ago, and I know people are really enjoying that figure in their collection already, so John Wick needed to come any minute here, and I'm glad he did. I feel like this is a bit of a downgrade to the prototype, at least in some of the detailing, but some of the areas that I actually think are improved are the beard. I think his beard is a little bit darker in both the movie stills that you can see here as well as this actual released version of the figure, whereas the prototype version looked a little on the lighter beard side. That was a criticism that I had at least at the time. The hair sculpting is weird on this one because it does come with the action hairstyle uh, as well as kind of the draped you know around his face look and depending on the photo here it really adds to the likeness or it feels like it almost takes away from it a little bit but i also honestly think that with all the photos that we're seeing here a big factor for any photo that doesn't totally look like keanu is the lighting and i know sometimes that's a bit of a joke right oh it's the lighting blame the lighting but Sometimes the lighting does play a huge factor or the angle at which you're looking at the character. I have figures in my own collection that depending on what shelf I put them on, they either come to life or lose a little bit of their realism and that kind of shrunk down nature of the character. And I think that's an effect we're getting with some of these photos because this one in particular, I think looks really good. It looks just like Keanu Reeves. This one especially looks just like Keanu Reeves. I mean, that looks fantastic. And you notice some of the detailing in the hair in this particular photo, as opposed to some of these zoomed out photos that look a little more on the plasticky side. I still think my preference in hairstyle might actually be the action style though. The windswept look, I think that that's a pretty nice look, especially for kind of an action pose and because his mouth is open just a little bit. See here is what I'm talking about with some editing and some strategic lighting. 
I actually think the likeness is lost on this photo for Keanu a little bit, especially because a little bit of that reflection in the eyes, which sometimes kind of shines it, makes it look like he's looking a different direction. <laughs> you get it here too, but again, it's a little closer up. So again, you can see the detail. Those wrist pegs are driving me a little crazy. Can't lie. You know, I'm getting to the point where I wish that Hot Toys would give us like one set of seamless forearms for figures that could like potentially have the requirement of a sleeve to be rolled up. Cause it would be cool if you could take his jacket off here as well and roll the cuffs and have the seamless arms. And we know that that technology is available now for pretty cheap cost. Like you can really see the cheapness of the figure body under here, especially in comparison to how detailed the hands are. Now the tailoring also does look pretty freaking good here. Relatively forgiving for posing. Doesn't look like it creases too badly. And I mean, honestly, if you're doing this much action in a suit, you know it's gonna crease pretty badly as well. The color on the white shirt does look a little on the fat side, uh, but not a deal breaker by any stretch. I think in comparison to the Proto, it's pretty similar. The, like the material pattern texture looks more predominant in these photos and almost a little bit more like a lint collector than I would say that the prototype one does. The prototype looked like a little bit smoother of a material, a little bit less of a, a cat hair magnet. I've got a big silver bangle, so I gotta think about these things. I, I think it looks pretty freaking good though, guys. Uh, the buttons look great. If you got the special edition that comes with that big machine gun, that's a pretty cool uh, accessory to have in there as well. That's the one that I got myself. Yeah, lots of range of posability, and the two characters here together look really, really good. This pose is friggin' awesome. <laughs> That's a great, I might steal this pose. And again, the likeness there looks really good and shows that range of posability. This is still more of that windswept look. Yeah, in comparison to the draped look around the face. Quite a bit different. I do like that they darkened the beard up though, because that was actually one thing that I noticed about John Wick 4 in the movie. I felt like Keanu looked like he really like dyed his beard before the movie, uh, which is fine, but he's getting up there in age. And so nobody's hair is that dark, not even mine, as you can see. I cover it mostly with a hat. I'm a lot of silvers under this bad boy. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. You guys are getting to see my first reaction. This is the first kind of click through I've done on these photos. The wrist pegs though are just like, ah really stand out like look at the circle on his hand i do like that they gave us the uh the missing finger though the missing finger sculpt here with a good attention to detail folks that's gonna be a one of a kind it's gonna be a one of a kind hand sculpt in your collection look at that <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> that's really freaking awesome i like that a lot i think it looks pretty good i think next to the prototype would you say there's a downgrade I think that there's changes, but I wouldn't necessarily call it a downgrade. I think you're gonna find the angle that works best for you if you're getting this in your display. I've also learned that, you know, the blogger photos, as good as they are, sometimes they don't really truly highlight what the figure looks like when it's in your display. I had that experience with the Days of Future Past Wolverine. I never really loved the prototype photos or the final blogger photos, but getting that figure in the display, I'm like, that is freaking Wolverine right there. And so sometimes when you're directly comparing them, yeah, you're gonna notice some things you might not love. I think when it's on the shelf, it's gonna come to life for you guys. Look at these nunchucks, that's awesome. Lots of cool posability options here. I also had gone on azmus.com and got a weapons rack recently for my Punisher figure. And I've got all of my six scale guns on display. I'll show a photo here on the side maybe, but I love the way that looks too. If you kind of want like a gun setup, you know, hit me up in the comments. I can let you know the link for where I got it. I love the way it looks. And I got the over 40 guns out of my Hot Toys accessory collection, basically, and up doing something in the display, which was also really cool. And I feel like John Wick, if you don't especially have him posed with the other character there, I think then you almost have to have him with like a gun setup, right? At least a table, like maybe you could take the DX11 table and have guns out on the metal table in front of him. That could be freaking cool. Um, lots of cool display ideas, but honestly, he's also just a dude in a suit. So overall, I'm excited because it's Keanu Reeves. I'm excited because it turned out pretty freaking well. I would say it's at least eight and a half, if not a nine out of 10 sculpt. I definitely see the likeness here for him. Yeah, I'm not offended by this at all. The first couple of photos, I was a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, that looks really good. Without the rolling eyes, I've noticed, honestly, some of the sculpts that I have that I can't do it on. I really feel annoyed with the only, like with the fact that they can only really look in one direction, it just drives me freaking crazy. And they don't look sunken in on this sculpt like they have on some of the other options out there. So I think that that's a win. 
I think this might honestly be the best Keanu Reeves sculpt we've had to date from Hot Toys. But I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on this? Are you picking this up? Maybe you've already got it paid off like me. Are you just gonna wait for the shipping notification now? Is this a fun Thanksgiving weekend or what? Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But if you like this video, hit the like button, smash the subscribe if you're new to The Ben Thomas Show. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching, everybody. Wow, what a great audience. You should have subscribed to my channel if you haven't already. Because subscribing makes you feel good. Where should I go? What should I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. It's God. It's all God.